There are many out there, mostly on the left, who would label me as an alt-right ally or some HOTEP member simply because I support the alt-right's freedom of speech and assembly. Allow me to erode those misconceptions right away. But before I begin, feel free to explore the comment section below and look at all the alt-right internet intellectuals blaming the Jews for calling me a nigger because I disagree with them. What is the alt-right? They're right-wingers, so that's cool. They're pro-white, so that's cool. They're trolls and they believe in internet culture, so that's cool. They're also against mass immigration and the corporate establishment. That's also very cool. But what are the core beliefs of the alt-right, represented by Richard Spencer, the creator of the alt-right? Well, once you get past the internet memes and anti-establishment fervor and the wishy-washy way Richard Spencer talks, the alt-right are modern-day segregationists. I mean, hail victory, which is see Heil in uh, German. Hail our people, hail victory! <laughs> The all right, in short, are a group of people who strongly believe in creating a white ethno state within the United States of America. So that means the alt right supports segregating Americans as well as deporting millions of Americans from America. If that means by force, if they had the power to, then they would probably do it. If they didn't support segregating and deporting millions of Americans from America, then they would be advocating creating their own nation state somewhere else or within America, but they're not doing that. The alt-right is advocating for the United States of America to turn into a white ethno state, which means they want to segregate and deport millions of Americans no matter who that non-white person might be as an individual. Once you cut through the bullshit propaganda, so Richard Spencer's talking points and all the memes, that's all the alt-right actually stands for. That's all they freaking believe. The alt-righters want Native Americans, the people who have always lived within America, to leave America. The alt-right doesn't want Hispanic people who have historically settled in southwestern America for centuries to leave America. The alt-right don't even want African Americans to be within America, even those of slave ancestry, people who had no choice to live in America. They want African Americans to leave America, even though African Americans are so well integrated into American culture that honestly, America isn't even America without Africans. Think music, film, sports, and so on. Alt writers want to segregate and deport all of those Americans because they're obsessed with creating an ethno state within America because they're too stupid and womenless to create their own ethno state. And remember, if you don't believe me, look at the comment section below and look at them blaming Jews and minorities for their own problems. That begs the question, why does the alt-right want to create a white ethno state within America? The number one reason I can find on why the alt-right wants to create a white ethno state within America is IQ differences between large groups of people that don't even apply on the individual level. Another reason why is because they think violence and political conflicts and tensions will suddenly disappear or vastly decrease without different races living amongst each other. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Both those reasons aren't good enough reasons to force Americans to leave America. I mean, think about it this way. African Americans have an IQ of 86, Serbians 89, Hispanics 90, Irish IQ is 92. I mean, what? Is the, is the alt-right going to kick all those low IQ whites from America? Are, are you going to do that all right? Probably not. And yes, diversity tends to cause more racial tensions and racial conflicts, but you know what else causes tension and conflicts? Gender, ethnicity, political ideology, religion, and so on. I mean, why draw the line at race? It's not totally obvious that race is a significant dividing factor amongst people, especially at the individual level. So why race? Why not political ideology or religion? Regardless of the answer, I mean, imagine how crappy, toxic, and annoying the world would be if everyone had the minds that the alt-right has. Oh, let's create our own nation state because I don't share the same skin color or share the same religion as the people around me. Oh, let's act violent on the streets because my own pride within my own race. I'm gonna start beating up black people and Jews. Give me a freaking break. As you can imagine, I don't just dislike the alt-right. I despise these people because they're identitarians and they believe in identity politics. And I'm not just saying that because I'm as dark as a paved road. I don't like them because they're illogical. I can respect people who have differences of opinions, but their little movement leads to violence. I mean, we've seen this in Charlottesville because they want to force people out of America. Their movement leads to violence. They also fuel Black Lives Matter and Antifa because now they have someone real to hate and real to fight against. And rightfully so. These people are violent and disgusting. If an alt writer came up to me and said, I don't want you in my country, I'd ask him why. Why wouldn't you want me in your country? I'm educated, I pay taxes, I don't commit crime, I believe in the free market, I was born within this country. So believe it or not, we share the same culture, we share the same values, we share the same identity in many aspects. 
So why the hell, what the hell's wrong with you? Why would you want me out of your country? That same alt-righter would be forced to say, I don't want you in my country because you're black and I'm white and we should all be segregated. I know the left uses this term a lot, but if the only reason you don't want me in America is because I'm black, you know what that makes you? That makes you a freaking racist. I don't think there's a better word to describe you, man. It's time we called a spade a spade. The alt-right are a bunch of pathetic, mindless, violent racists. White lives matter! White lives matter! White lives matter! White lives matter! White lives matter. White lives matter. If you don't believe me, look down in the comments below. Look at them blaming Jews for all their problems. Look at me calling me a nigger or whatever. They're worthless, man. And if you still don't believe me, then watch a video collection of these people in their natural state. I'm Jay Faza from the Rebel.media. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to Rebel.media and please, if you're sick and tired of content creators being censored on YouTube, go down to our website, theycantstopus.com.